It might not be official yet, but the New Look leadership team is wasting no time getting to work. The government I lead will be absolutely focused on the task of helping Queenslanders and that's why today we're announcing that we will freeze rego, freeze car rego for the next year. Keen to push cost of living help at their first press conference since striking a factional deal for the jobs of Premier and Deputy, a pact that's set to be rubber stamped by the Labor caucus on Friday. I'm grateful that he is supporting me. We have been friends for a long time. We share a vision for Queensland. I'm absolutely convinced that Stephen Miles is the, is the best leader for Queensland now and for the future. Oh, look, there's been a lot of discussions between a lot of people over the last few days, but this is an agreement between Cameron and I. The agreement ending a brief two-way contest to replace Anastasia Palaszczuk. Yesterday, Shannon Fentman declared her intention to nominate for Premier, but withdrew this morning, saying it's clear that a majority of Labor members of Parliament will support Stephen Miles to be the next leader. He says she's doing a great job as Health Minister. I have certainly asked her to stay on in that role and also take a leadership role within the government. Cameron Dick will also retain the role of Treasurer. There will be other changes to Cabinet, but Mr Miles is being tight-lipped for now. We're not getting ahead of ourselves. The caucus meets on Friday to elect uh, the leadership team. I, I see the same people who have led to the same crises that are gripping Queensland. Ten months out from the next state election, the incoming Premier says Labor is the underdog, but he's confident they can win. As well as focusing on cost of living, he's also signalled a change around delivering infrastructure for the 2032 Games. Now saying an independent delivery authority is the right way to go, after the government previously dismissed it. We'll start work just as soon as I get my feet under the desk. And state political reporter Kate McKenna joins me now. Kate, what other changes might we see Stephen Miles making? Well, Anastasia Palaszczuk is still Premier for another three days. But already Stephen Miles is acting like a Premier in waiting, appearing at the Disaster Management Committee meetings and holding the press conferences. Now, caucus still has to meet on Friday to make this all official. After that, we're expected to find out what is changing with Cabinet. The ABC has already confirmed that the Sports and Tourism Minister, Sterling Hinchliffe, will vacate the front bench. But we're waiting to see other changes, such as what sort of deal Cameron Dick has got for the right faction for running on a unity ticket with Stephen Miles. Now, Labor will be trying to pitch this new team as a reset, especially leading to an election year. But it's also the first time for the party for Queensland Labor since about 2005 that two men are running in the positions of Premier and Deputy Premier. The government has always prided itself on the number of women in leadership positions, even lauding it over the LNP. And when asked about this today, Mr Miles says they have a range of female ministers and we should expect to see many more. Kate McKenna, thank you. Well, Stephen Miles has been in state parliament for nearly nine years. He won the Brisbane seat of Mount Cutha in the same election that first made Anastasia Palaszczuk Premier. Never one to shy away from a photo op. Can I just do this all day? This is good fun. Stephen Miles enthusiastically embraced his early ministerial duties. Better with puppies than snakes. He slid straight into the cabinet within weeks of being elected to Queensland's parliament in 2015. His path to politics is a familiar one in the Labor Party with a union background and one previous failed attempt as a federal candidate in 2010. As Environment Minister, the Parliament passed laws to phase out sand mining on Stradbroke Island. In 2017, he was handed responsibility for health, one of the most challenging portfolios, never more so than during a pandemic. Today we are closing the border to New South Wales. In 2020, Mr Miles was elevated to deputy after Jackie Trad resigned and remained loyally by Anastasia Palaszczuk's side, staunchly defending a $220 million spend on a COVID quarantine facility that only ever housed a few hundred people.
The only regret I have is that we didn't build it sooner. And rolling out the controversial plan to tear down and rebuild the Gabba ahead of the Olympics. The best possible outcome, the best value outcome for the city. But it wasn't until the day she announced her retirement that Ms Palaszczuk publicly endorsed Stephen Miles as her successor. A husband, father and Broncos fan with a big job ahead.